I'm getting you the masturbation vest. <laughs> the anti oh. the masturbation oh vest. It's like a Christian thing for your self raping <laughs> child. <laughs> this is Ivy. And this is Gidget. And you're listening to Slut Shame This. Out in that I fisted a girl today. <laughs> you fisted her where? Anally, in the butt. It was my first you time. You put a f- your fist in a girl's butthole. Yeah, it was my first time, too. It, don't put your nails in my face after that. <laughs> oh, I've, I've taken a shower. Don't act weird. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I feel weird. You know I feel kind of weird about poop. Oh, but she's clean. We're clean. <laughs> We're all great. We're doing great. Wait, you're doing amazing, sweetie. I'm doing amazing. Give me your hand. I'm Touch it. Kidding. No, that's <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. They're clean. They look good. She's long good. nails. You know, I took two There's showers. Nothing under I used my bum bum cream. With <laughs> she's good. She's good. She's, but um, she ready. <laughs> also, my hand was in a fist, so my nails were actually kind of, you know, not. They t- weren't touching. Your wrist was in her. Um, I was actually like too nervous to go all the way but she was down I started with two fingers three she was like more 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 and I was like looking at her and I'm like you and <laughs> there was no res- resistance from How her much body lube we were using a lot of lube like I think I mentioned to you guys uh that when I got home I was covered in lube because once you touch lube with your hands it gets everywhere so even scenes that aren't like super messy per se, they get messy anyway. Especially like toy scenes when you're using toys on girls, like you need lubricant. So someone brought up to me that during the anal crash course, I didn't bring up lube. And that is really important for anal. And I feel like that's honestly up to the discretion of the person who's getting penetrated. You can try... Coconut oil is a great, like, natural lubricant. It smells nice, but um, as far as silicone versus water-based, that's totally up to you. I like silicone-based for anal, and I like the brand Pure, Mm -hmm. spelled P-J-U-R. And you can also use it to clean your latex. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. If you're into that sort of thing. Yeah, and it's it's what shines up the latex, right? Exactly. You have to use baby powder to put it on? And then you don't necessarily have to. It depends okay. what you're wearing because it kind of gets a white stuff on it. Yeah. So if you use pure specifically, that's like the best. It's uh, my favorite lube for anal. to clean the latex. So then it's all like shiny. So pure, if you want to sponsor us, <laughs> <laughs> multiple uses. Okay, so this is exciting, and I'm really yeah. honored that he came down when we're such a newbie podcast because I know. he is a legend. Um. When I started porn, actually no one in my personal life knew of any of the stars that I was mm-hmm. telling them except for Manuel Ferrara. Manuel Ferrara. Manuel. Manuel endowed. <laughs> Man. Well, fuck me sideways. <laughs> Yeah. Quite literally. Um, So he's going to stop by and teach us how to make love like a male porn star. Yeah. um, I've had sex with him a lot. I think that if you go on JulesJordan.com and look up Manuel's work, I'm on there plenty. When I first started porn, I was working for this one director and he watched me do the scene and he was like, you're going to love Manuel. He fucks with passion. And I can tell you're a passionate person. And so when I worked with him, that's exactly what I felt. And ever since then, I've just felt like guys could learn a thing or two from him. Mm -hmm. He's passionate. He makes you feel like you're the only person in the room during that moment, whether it's 
real or not, it feels real. And it's, I feel like that's the attention and the focus that every guy should bring to the bedroom. Mm -hmm. It's not always about technicalities and skills. It's about your energy. And so I'm happy to have him on and see what he has to say about that. And yeah, and he's also just a, it's fun to listen to him speak in his French accent. So, Mm -hmm. So (laughs) and did you know anything about him prior? Um, No, I didn't. I knew about him because I knew you had worked with him. And then I did a little personal research (laughs) with my my magic wand. Oh, excellent. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Just a little field research. And it it was was nice. It's crazy. Yeah, no, actually. You'd love to see it. (laughs) um, Kevin's wife's friend, Victoria, recently DM'd me and was like, if I need to like look up some straight porn, what should I look up? And I said, look up Manuel Ferrara stuff. And she DM'd me the other day and was like, holy shit, do all guys fuck this good? And I was like, no, they do not. <laughs> this is- I watched the one with, well, I've seen the ones with you guys, yeah. which we watched together. And they're yeah. so we hot held, and we held, we held hands. <laughs> yeah, we had, and, and uh, Ivy's bed. Yeah. <laughs> we were, ate chocolate. <laughs> we, were eating, we were eating fancy Malibu chocolate. It's sounding sexier than it was. <laughs> Um, it was but actually it was, really fun. Though. It was it was pretty sexy too. Yeah, no. but I watched the one with him and Angela mm. White. Is mm-hmm. that her name mm-hmm. that you told me about? And yeah, <laughs> I found some. <laughs> it's a, it's fiery. I mean, yeah, you can so literally nice. pair him with a potato and <laughs> somehow. Wait, that's not. That's not in regards to anyone. <laughs> I'm just saying, like he could make a he can make a potato look sexy if you wanted to. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. So let's bring him in here so he can make my potatoes, like, <laughs> mash my potatoes. Let's mash them up. Let's butter those potatoes. Yeah, palm frit. <laughs> let's palm frit. Um, all right. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's bring him in. Manuel. Okay. I'm cool. So excited. So. <laughs> Hello. What's up? We have a very special guest. <laughs> Um, the iconic, legendary, iconic. <laughs> legendary. <laughs> He's so bashful. He's so shy. <laughs> yeah, multi AVN male performer of the year, Ooh. director, performer, lover, Manuel Ferrara. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> I don't know how to react to an introduction like this. <laughs> well, thank you for coming here. Oh, thank you for having me. So you are amazing at fucking, and we want to inform the rest of the world as to how to be as good as you are. Yeah, so we want you to tell you know, just the <laughs> regular guy how to make love like a male porn star. I, I honestly thought that the podcast was just a trick to get me here to have sex with both of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, um, so you're very disappointed right, right now. My you're bad. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, it's an actual podcast. Shit. Shit. It's very <laughs> professional. There are not enough men in the world who know what the fuck they're doing, and you should share your wealth of knowledge with us. Well, the thing is, I get a lot of people asking me about, like, how to make a girl come licking her pussy or rubbing the clear and everything, but, like, you can't just use one technique to make every woman the same way. Like, we're, like, like men and women are all different, and there's so many different ways uh, to do it, but also, like, one way will probably work with some women but not others and uh, so what do you recommend that a guy does to kind of like listen to what she likes or are there questions yeah i feel like the best way like like i don't like the the asking so what is it you're like i think it takes away from you you know or do you like that or i i feel like when it's the first time or like some of the first times like try different things and see the way the girls react to what you're doing Mm -hmm. obviously some of the things are going to make the girl react in a positive way and Mm -hmm. that's what you should keep going on with 
but then keep trying other things because there are so many other ways to do it. You don't want to yeah. just do one thing because that's the thing that works. You need mm -hmm. to try more and more and more things. But most importantly, anything that doesn't make the girl feel good or react or just don't do it anymore. So like, what are some of the like the uh, visible cues that makes you feel like you can tell a girl is having a good time? Again, like you can't <laughs> always claim you always pleasure or women like some are really good at making it look like you, you know men we're, we're very fragile we need women <laughs> to make us believe that we are like great at sex and that we make you come the hardest you know but we all know that it's not always true all right <laughs> back to how to make women love you by fucking <laughs> them <laughs> really good well uh, i can only have sex one way like I can only give 100% like a friend of mine used to always tell me like that I would get in trouble with women because I was always giving 100% when I was having sex with them but I don't know how to do not like like that like like for me to first to get hard I need to be turned on and I need to do the thing that are going to turn me on and so what turns you on there's nothing that turns me on more than making a woman come mm. Like, okay. this is what's going to take me to the next level mm -hmm. of being turned on. And I'll do pretty much anything for it. So... so is it hot in here? <laughs> 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 so, for our male listeners, like, what, are, what is some advice as to, like, how to tune in to what's turning on a woman? You know, like, how do you gauge a sexual experience with a brand new partner I, you have to try little things and little by little you're not gonna like if if you want to be dominant with a woman but you don't know if she's submissive you you're gonna try little things for example you're gonna put your hand on her throat without squeezing at all just put your hand you know <laughs> depending on how the girl reacts then you might like press a little more and a little more and and but but then if you see that it doesn't make her react at all just don't insist don't try to force something that's not there and you know might actually like turn the girl off and get yeah. her completely out of the mood of fucking you, right. you know and it works like that for a, lo a, a lot of things like you, you know spanking is the same or like also talking like i i'm a talker i like you know, mm -hmm. I say a lot of things, but I'm not going to say the same thing to a woman if if I can sense that it's not what she wants to like hear. She's, yeah, because yeah, I like being talked to. Same. Like, it's actually really strange to me when guys are, like, pretty silent. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what's up? I'm like, hello, are you enjoying this? Yeah. Is this thing yeah. on? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, if you watch porn and, and you see those guys, like, barely connecting with a girl, I'm like, why are you here? Like, mm -hmm. why and how? Clearly, you're not having fun. Clearly, you're doing a job. But how can you do this job if you're not enjoying it? Yeah, right. And when I first came to America, it was in 2002, it set me apart from everyone else. My style and my way of having sex with So women. was that like a natural thing? It wasn't, yeah. you were just like, basically, so do you fuck off camera the way you do on camera? I do. I do. I'm, um... That's the only way I can do it. That's the only way I can get hard. Listen, we're, we're in a time where a lot of people like like would use, you know, sometimes in porn medications or different things to help their erections. Uh, I still, I'm, you know, I'm 43 years old. I still do it naturally. And, mm -hmm. and that was actually a question because we asked like if anyone had questions for you. Mm -hmm. One of the questions was, do male performers use Viagra or other things like numbing cream oh um, numbing cream oh. <laughs> I mean that's, right. that's Vi the Viagra worst. became more frequent now when I started in porn there wasn't any Viagra either you could do it or you couldn't do it you mm. couldn't become uh, like a porn performer if you couldn't get hard you know yeah um, now, nowadays there, there, there are more and more people using Viagra or others uh, it has positive things and negative things the positive things is now there are a lot more good-looking guys that there was back in the days. Because mm. back in the days, it has nothing to do with the looks. It had to oh. do with, can you get hard? And, and then how you long would, you can stay Exactly. Hard. And then, you, you know, l l like big porn performers back then were n not necessarily the best-looking guys. 
now there are a lot of like good looking guys in the mm-hmm. in the porn industry and that was one of the pros of of uh those pills now here's my issues with it um first we're having sex with gorgeous women there's no guy that's in his 20s that should use viagra to have sex with any of these women Mm -hmm. like no like there's no guy no (laughs) but what was that face well i'm just like yeah i mean every everyone is subjectively gorgeous in some way but also there's chemistry and if chemistry is not there then maybe you might need a little help yeah or you can just say you know what she clearly doesn't want to be here. How about we just like turn it off and go you home? You have the luxury of that, but a guy. Just... I've always done it from the beginning. Really? From the beginning, I will never force myself to do a scene if I felt like a girl didn't want to be here. Oh wow! And I would always like talk to the girl. I'll be like, I'll be like, you okay? Because you, you know, it doesn't seem like there's something wrong. Do you need anything? You know? And if it was my way to give kind of a chance of. Not redemption, but like see if it mm-hmm. would like open things yeah. up. Maybe it was the wrong way to go, but um, no, that seems nice. If we would start the scene and clearly the girl f- felt like she didn't want to be here, I would just be like, you know what? It's pointless. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna do a bad scene because I'm gonna sh- struggle with woods. You know, if the girl doesn't want to be here, I don't want to be the guy fucking her, Yeah, you know? Yeah. I think that's a question, Manuel, for people who aren't in porn. Like, for guys, like, if there is something that you're into, whether it's anal or something more obscure or, you know, getting your dick sucked a certain way, like, how do you recommend kind of... Because I think guys get nervous. Mm-hmm about telling girls things but girls just like guys <laughs> want to know exactly so yeah. what do you recommend you should do if there's something you want to do but you don't know if it's something the other person is open to whether it's like bondage or toys or, or like getting I mean, pegging like, or like, like whatever licking a dude's asshole all i think all dudes want their ass licked, they but they're do. too scared to ask for it <laughs> i feel like if it's the first time or anything it's a lot like women like like let the woman do her thing and see what she tries uh-huh. and and see what the guy likes and same thing, keep going that way. And then when you get a little more in the mm-hmm. relationship or the sexual, you know, relationship, then you can start telling like, hey, I like when you do this or do this or I like this. And the same, I think it's very healthy when people have sex I don't like that in the, the the first couple of times because I feel like it should it, it's part of the beauty mm-hmm. of having sex the couple first time with a partner is discovering the person's body and what she likes and what yeah. she's going to be into. But then there are always things that you know when you're in a relationship and you're a, a couple it's very healthy to talk about it and and talk about what you and say like oh this is something yeah. i'm interested in would you yeah. be open to trying it yeah. you recommend Try that rather this. than oh. just like kind of trying it of course yeah 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 i mean if it didn't happen in the first few times it won't happen yeah you know so let it known that you like this or that you like trying something else and then what about like ivy was saying like if you want something done how do you same thing same thing just or say do you want to do? just i think it's super healthy to say hey could you put your I tongue like in my butt? Yeah, I like this. Lick my ass. Yeah. <laughs> Lick my ass. I like it. What if I she's know. like, ne- she never goes in that direction? And you then, just back then, up. Then, yeah, then if it's not her thing, it's not, and that's for me, if mm-hmm. she doesn't like doing it, it's not going to turn me on her doing yeah. it. It has to be something that you both enjoy to actually be pleasurable for both. And mm-hmm. it's also taking pleasure from giving pleasure, you know? Like like licking a woman's butthole, for example. Mm-hmm. I mean, to me, physically, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. But my head goes like 100 miles an hour thinking about what I'm doing to her and the pleasure I give her. Or And, and licking the butthole is one example, but it's like that for everything mm-hmm. else. That's I'm the same way. I feel like giving pleasure is one of my biggest turn-ons. Me too. Like yeah. when I Definitely. see someone enjoying themselves because of me, that's so satisfying. Uh, for sure. When yeah. I when that's also a problem for me because like it turns me on so much that seeing a girl like even close to 
calm or really enjoying what I'm doing mm-hmm. can make me come early, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's another thing. People think that porn star are machines and we just can control always when we come. But the truth is we're not. It can happen that you're going to come early and it can happen that you can't hold yourself back and you have to pull out and do something else yeah. to, you know. I've experienced I've that, that with you. you. <laughs> yeah. I've done that with you. Yeah, you get mad at me. I'm like, get the fuck out of my dick. But see, like, like, <laughs> like, tell me it's not a huge turn on for you to know that you can get the guy there. It's the hugest turn on when you're struggling. For me. I'm yeah, like, it's the same thing for yeah. me, knowing that I can mm-hmm. get the, the woman here. Has being in the industry made your personal sex life better or worse or do you feel like it sounds like you've always had the same approach yeah i started very young so i started porn when i was 21 Mm -hmm. and uh i already knew what i liked which was like making the girl come and and making them feel special gave me something back that Mm -hmm. i loved but uh through the years your sexuality changes and sometimes even come back to things you like and and also because you're not having sex constantly with the same person you can't be the same with all the the women you always have to change again sometimes you're going to be maybe rougher if the girl's into mm-hmm. rough and then the next person you're having sex with you're going to be like a lot softer and more gentle and take your time and sometimes even with the same person you're going to have some days you, you, the, the other person's going to be into rough sex and other days the same person will totally. be into yeah. like a softer it's it's you have to read that and and through the years i've seen my sexuality change and like the other little thing that turned me on change you know like Mm -hmm. for example i love boobs i love ass i like faces i like hands i like feet i like but sometimes like i'm gonna really be into the boobs yeah (laughs) some other days big boobs yeah i love big boobs (laughs) i love big asses kevin is a huge fan of titties too but, but you came to the wrong place. You could be like, there's a there's a nipple. And he'll, yeah. Kevin's ears perk up. He starts looking around. He's like, where's the nipple? Where's the titty? Good, small. I, I mean, <laughs> Sam. Which doesn't mean I don't like small boobs. But like like some days I'm I'm going to be into small, smaller boobs. You know, sometimes it's going to be a position. Like your sexual life changes so much and so often. Like with, with Ivy, for example... That's a good example. Like mm-hmm. she has those Italian hips, and mm-hmm. and when we do scenes and and she's in doggy, I like grabbing her by the hips. It's something I remember. What, there was a time we did a scene together, and she had literally my fingerprints on my hips, on her hips from me squeezing it. Yeah, it, that's the Manuel Bruce. <laughs> the Manuel Bruce. <laughs> I'm like, this He's is what you just got <laughs> so proud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm very proud of it. But this is where you go to things where you try different things. And after so many years of, of sex and porn, like there are still things that I discover. I'm like, oh, I never did this. And I like mm-hmm. this, actually. Right. That leads me to another question someone sent us, which is, like, are there things that look great on camera? And that, like, it sounds like for you, it's all about pleasing mm your scene partner or your partner but are there things that like look great on camera that you're just never going to be interested doing off camera uh, reverse cowgirl i i think this position is strictly made for porn like the only way i can like reverse cowgirl is not the porn version where the girl is up straight and jumping mm-hmm. on you but more like if the girl is like laying back, laying back all against me and I can be like all wrapped around her mm-hmm. and kissing her. Like yeah. like same thing with doggy. I, I like doggy mostly because I like seeing the butt and my dick going in and out. <laughs> but this gets, this gets like, like I quickly lean forward to be close to the girl and yeah. kiss her and talk For to like her. That, you like that intimacy. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is my main thing. I need yeah. to be close to the person and be able to look at her. Okay, but... Also, pile driver. Pile driver. <laughs> you have to explain what pile so driver is. So it's when the girl is on her back with her legs up, with her ass up. 
Manuel talked a little bit about the pile driver, and we just wanted to explain more what that is. So, okay. <laughs> Ivy, let, give the rundown. So, you're on your back, and you... Who's on your back? I'm on my back. The, mm-hmm. I'm, the, I'm the recipient of the pile driver. Mm-hmm. I'm on my back, and I lift my butt up into the air so that my shoulders are holding my weight. Wait, and so your legs are up. My legs are up, mm-hmm. and my le- my feet come down by my shoulders, and my ass is, like, vertically up in the air. So is are his hands, like, on the back of your thighs? Like, he'll, like, ho- yeah, they'll help you stay like that, because your body will naturally keep wanting to teeter down. So pile driver, he basically will hold your feet down to the floor, so it's ankles to shoulders, mm-hmm. ass in the air, and you're, like, looking directly at the person who's pile driving you and he's basically squatting squatting into your holes it's so so stupid but it's like it wait he has to be squatting well if you think about it because your ass is in the air so your butt is up yeah like your lower back isn't touching yeah your lower back is not on the ground your lower back is up your butt is up you're like a you're folded in half but like vertical that sounds stupid But people like watching it because you can see everything. Amidst a scene where a guy like him like knows what he's doing and he just throws you into it and starts doing it. It's like, okay, I can do this. But like at home, would I be like, daddy, fuck me in pile driver? No. Another question I got was about the first time you perform DP awesome or weird. And is that something that you actually enjoy or is that more of a... Thing it is that's to good me for porn. super weird. I'm not turned on by it, and yeah. I block the other performer, the male performer. Like I tend to like just focus only on the girl and, mm-hmm. and have tunnel vision and really block out the other guy. You, it doesn't like feel good. Well, well, it feels good to me because I'm only looking at the girl and caring about the girl, but having another guy. Like, you know, pussy, for example, while I'm fucking ass, doesn't make me any different. Like, it doesn't, doesn't turn it me Doesn't it feel kind of good, like, when she's all filled up? Like, doesn't it make, like, her holes a little bit tighter? And, like, it feel. Isn't the idea of, like... No, not to me. Stuffing up a girl kind of hot? Like, like, like no, no. Yeah. From, like, physically, it doesn't do anything to me. Have Mentally. I, have I got turned on in the past mentally because of the act and the girl lets herself go places with mm-hmm. two guys and yeah is it something i would do outside of porn dps probably not uh, oh. any any porn myths oh. you want to debunk yeah. Yeah, what do you well i already debunked the fact that like like male performers are just machines and we can just control like no it happens there are a lot of times where a guy can come early or not get hard. That can so happen. So, what do you do if, like, you do come early? Well, usually, if so I just come, like, let me if, win. if I come everyone early, take five. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that that's exactly that. Yeah. Like everyone takes five, and uh-huh. then we come back and finish the scene. Uh, sometimes it's not possible, so you have to finish the scene and maybe bring the people back. Um, okay. Same thing. It can happen that sometimes you can book a girl for an anal scene and somehow that day it's not working like it, it, it right. it's not as good as it should be so it's better to just not keep going and you know porn is not always a precise it's an art not a science mm. I hate I, mm-hmm. I don't like calling it art I don't I don't like it's, why not we're not all artists I just yeah no <laughs> I don't go for that like I, or or at least I don't go I don't do it for art I just just want to have sex with a lot of beautiful women <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you won AVN Male Performer of the Year? Six times. Six <laughs> fucking Whoa. times. Yeah, I won it six times. Yeah, I'm bragging about Actually, seven, because the... F- <laughs> well, the first time I won Foreign Performer of the Year. So if you add Foreign Performer of the Year and the Performer of the Year, it's seven. Wow. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah, I'm... I'm We're in the presence <laughs> of royalty. We <laughs> are, no, truly. Yeah, kiss the ring. Yeah, get on your knees. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. Let's anyway. line up to kiss. Um, yes, please. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, people even have asked me, like, why did you start doing porn? Yeah. Or who, what um, led you here? And do you do drugs? Or like, always... people think you have to be on drugs, or you have to have daddy issues, or you have to have like, like any obscure reason to mm-hmm. do to. 
to do porn yeah. when yeah. And they people try. can't accept that like a yeah. woman might be doing this because she because she owns it because, because she, she owns totally sees it in herself yeah. that she yeah. has the potential to have power over people through yeah. her sexuality and she's gonna fucking use that of course but then of course yeah. like like it's it's a big the big reason of that is, is the media like no one's interesting in showing the adult industry into something that's really positive mm-hmm. and can take you places are there dark places through the industry yeah but it's true for a- every industry. industry exactly Absolutely. but honestly when you see a lot of people in our industry that did great for themselves mm-hmm. that ended up getting something out of our industry that they couldn't have gotten anywhere else like in my case Listen, I have a family, I have kids, I have a wife. I, I, you know, what this industry brought me more than just having sex with beautiful women or having, um, or making really good money with it is the time. I have time to spend with my family, with yeah. my kids. And to me, that's a great success. And I know that only by doing this job, I, I'm able to do this. Mm-hmm. Um, I went to school to be a, a, a PE teacher. Oh. In, the, in the Parisian <laughs> suburb, I would have been I would have been miserable. A lot of my friends that I went to college mm-hmm. with, like their lives is miserable, mm-hmm. miserable because the area w- where I would have been a, a teacher is like really like ghetto area, and it's getting worse and worse. And the way France and the Parisian area lately mm-hmm. has been is is very difficult economically and and so many different levels but yeah porn in a way saved my life i don't survive like my friends that i went to college with those yeah. people survives i live fully my life and enjoy my family and my friends Okay, so one of the things we always do on the podcast... Yes, this is our favorite part. ...is reading a weird DM. So we were wondering if you have a weird DM from girls, because so far we've only read them you probably from... probably get from guys. <laughs> yeah, I get, I get DMs from girls, from guys, from everyone. Uh, <laughs> you realize that men are pretty, like, simple when they talk to male performers, which is, oh. like, asking us questions mm-hmm. more about how to do it or, like... How can I make my dick bigger or things like that? Um, women go way further. Like I get, <laughs> oh, do we? Oh, do we? <laughs> I get the craziest pictures and videos. Oh, oh. Uh, do you get like poems or short stories or like no? It's, <laughs> like who yeah, about I wish it, sometimes. Trust me, I wish it was that more. Than, <laughs> there, there are things that you see and you can't. You un-see. can't. <laughs> <laughs> and it's burnt in your retina. It's like staring at the sun for 15 minutes, you know? So w- one of the things lately that I get a lot, a couple okay. of years ago, I did a uh, mold of my penis. Oh, where can I cop? Well, <laughs> I, I, you know, I'll get you one. And, yeah, and I one. just, like, last year made a new one through Fleshlight. So it's like a it's dildo? Like a dildo of my penis. Does it feel I, real? Have I have four skin. I don't try it, but uh, I'll I'll get you one. And why don't you like talk I'll, about? I, it? I, I like do, how I do a review. You know? <laughs> but tell me more about the foreskin thing. Well, it's just like they can't do a retractable foreskin on it. So oh. basically, they made it so the foreskin is halfway through my the head of my dick. Right. So it's like when you're like poking out. But yeah. That's how you kind of are. That's, that's really how hard, it is. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I have a thing that a lot of men that are uncircumcised have. It's called a phimosis. Phimosis is when your skin it's not big enough to be fully pulled out, or it's painful to do it. So mm-hmm. most of the time the skin stays there. Like, and some people get bothered by it. I don't like. I can still. If I force a little bit, pull the, the whole skin out, but it's not always like that. But some men, they have this problem and it's very painful for them. So they have to go through either circumcision or like a little cut mm. of it. But I thought it was a good idea to show it. The way it is. And the dildo, the way it is. So it's no. yeah. exactly like my dick. and not. But like, I'm know. team for skin, yeah. personally. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So with that came a long series of... 
of pictures of people buying my dildos and what they do with it. Oh. Uh-huh. And, oh. Um, <laughs> what do they do with it? Put it on a mantle? <laughs> well, no, it's funny you said that. The first time I did a dildo, I, I had to do like a little like commercial for it. Oh, right? I would and, like to see that. Oh, I can. I would, we, after this, I can show okay, it to you. You laugh. Hi, I'm Manuel Ferrara. Check out the first piece in my new novelty line. It's my cock. Do whatever you want with it. It can be a unicorn for, for Halloween. Sword fights. It's also a plunger. You don't even have to give it back. I have my own. I am so, dying, I am dying. You know, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, so to come back to the DMs, I get a lot of videos and photos from men, from women, from men and women, sometimes couples. Oh. And um, yeah, and yeah, some of them. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that says it all. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it, yeah, some people go way far. Have with you this. gotten any DMs like that that have turned you on? Yeah, of course. Do I you get... reply? <laughs> well, asking for a friend. Asking for a friend. I, I rarely do, and if I do, usually it's like, hey, thank you for being a fan. Or, mm-hmm. You know, I don't... I'm so not professional. <laughs> also, like, you never know who's really behind it. You, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for giving us your valuable time. Yeah, we, we, we really appreciate, appreciate it you. so much. You are our second guest ever, and what an incredible guest to no, have. No, this is so fun. Thank you. I, you know, obviously, any place with beautiful women and <laughs> talking about my favorite topic, which is me, <laughs> I will show up. <laughs> but I'm doing a charity stream in August. Yeah, you guys okay. should come and we'll talk about your podcast and awesome. everything. It's really fun and all the proceeds go to St. Jude's Hospital. So Amazing. it's a 24 hour stream. Cool. And I get a lot of guests. So and where can people tune in for that? So you can go to twitch.tv slash Manuel Ferrara TV. Okay, cool. We'll put that on the Instagram and everything and under the we'll show notes. In the show notes. Yes. Yeah, so mm-hmm. people can find you at that. And then where can they find you on social media? So Instagram is Manuel Ferrara. Mm-hmm. Uh, Twitter is also Manuel Ferrara. Okay. And but then I- on Pornhub, uh, asking for a friend. <laughs> 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 you know, it's fairly easy if you know your you way type around. In yeah. <laughs> I also have a gaming Twitter, like more like Twitch related Twitter. Oh yeah, what's that? It's Manuel Ferrara TV. Not not everyone that follow me on Twitch need to see what I do in porn. Okay, yeah. cool. So if we just want to talk so Red wanna... Dead Redemption or something. <laughs> That's perfect. That's the <laughs> okay, <spot>. good. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. This is so fun. Pleasure. Anytime, yeah. really. A real pleasure. <laughs> You're very informed. <laughs> Teach me, Daddy. <laughs> Teach me. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm terrified. Anyway, Manuel, we yeah. appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. Same. Thank Same. you for what a Thank you, you guys. Are lovely. <laughs> thank you, Kevin. Say something. Wait, 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 wait. Before we sign off, say something in French. Tell us that we're the most perfect whores. J'ai envie de vous attraper toutes les deux. Vous mettez à quatre pattes sur le canapé et passez d'une à l'autre. Et ensuite de jouer dans vos bouches. <laughs> I couldn't even make eye contact. <laughs> I'd have to change my underwear. <laughs> and I'm not wearing any. <laughs> okay, okay wait, thank you. We're good. Everything's fine. We're good. This thank is you professional. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm sweating. Okay, okay. B- bye. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening to this episode. We thought we would help you guys out (laughs) so you can know how to fuck We're trying to help everyone out. Uh Uh-huh. So if you learned anything, feel free to DM us about what you might have learned. But no pictures. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah. Yeah. Go home, pile drive. (laughs) Or not. I'll drive all night as the Springsteens. <laughs> Open all night in that pile driver. Perfect. Be in Nebraska by no time. Mm. Anyhow, Guilty. that okay. was fun. Thank you, Manuel, for coming on. Um, awesome. If you guys want to be more acquainted with him, I know he's on Twitch. 
So thank you so much, Manuel, for being on our show. We'll also go on his Twitch soon. And, yeah. Um, I'll let you guys know about yeah. that. And as always, if you guys can subscribe, download, rate, and review our podcast, that is so helpful for us. Um, and if you leave a really rad review or funny or silly or just amazing we will read it on here yes um because that really helps us and then as always follow us on instagram and twitter at slut shame this and Mm -hmm. we're available on google play and itunes and wherever you get your podcast (laughs) and soon to be spotify yeah (laughs) thank you guys so much for listening thank you good night thanks thanks